Hi, my name is Julianne, and if you're wondering why I'm dressed up exactly like this in the same outfit as my previous two videos, it's because it's Halloween and I dressed up and I decided to film after I got dressed up and I'm not gonna change. Today, I'm gonna be talking about a book, Never World Wake by Marisha Pessel. This book works better when you know nothing about it. That's how I went into it. I read her book, Night Film, so I already knew I was gonna love this book. If you do want some more information I will ex go into more detail in, those, in the video but if you don't want to get spoiled at all just leave now. <laughs> okay let's ex let me explain what this book is. It is the love child of Going Bovine and We Were Liars which means it was awesome. <laughs> like I said I read Night Film so I knew I was gonna love this book. This book did not disappoint for the most part. I think it's kind of up to interpretation. I'm your view of the ending, whether it's like happy or sad, how much of the book is true or not, because you know you only get one perspective, so is she a reliable narrator, she's an unreliable na narrator, you know, like what's kind of going on. So Neverworld Wake is a story about love, death, survival, friendship, love, heartbreak, loss, and all of that sounds cliche, but this book is anything but. It is about this group of friends. They all gather at one of their friends house which is basically a mansion. They end up going to this like event and after the event they are on their way back to the mansion when their car almost crashes and you know like they freak out and so they go back to the mansion and then after that they all go back to their respective homes. And then the next day everyone wakes up at the mansion and they realize that it is the day is repeating but it's not your classic, you know, day repeating story. What made this book unique, even though it has that, that cliche, oh, you know, the day is repeating, you have to deal with that kind of situation. In this book, it's not one person who has to explain it over and over and over and over again to their best friend or whoever. You know how annoying that is to watch something or read something and they're like, okay, let me explain it again to you that even though I explained this 10 times, you still don't remember, so I have to explain it again what's going on all five friends are aware like they're all like in on it together so it's like they don't have to explain over and over and over again that the day is repeating and so I thought that was really unique to have more than one person experiencing this so moving from like plot let me explain talk about the writing oh my god <laughs> The writing is gorgeous. Like, if you've read Night Film, you'll understand. Like, there's something about Marisha Pestle's, like, writing style that's just, it feels so unique. Like, I feel like she has so many phrases that I've never heard of before. And she does not have the classic, I let out a breath, I didn't know I was holding line, okay? Because that is so overdone. Yes, you have the cliche day repeating story, but yet it's not cliche. It's taking a story you kind of recognize and refreshing it and that was just amazing. I highly, highly recommend this. I really want to reread it and just like go through it and just like absorb everything because I was like trying to get through it like really fast because it was just so good but it'd be so nice to sit down and just like absorb the writing. I really don't want to like overhype the story though but I can't help it because holy shit it's amazing like you need to read it like if you haven't picked this up why like, I jumped onto the night film bandwagon way too late but I did not sleep on this book and no one else should either because oh my god it's awesome on my rating scale I would rate this a 4 I can't rate it a 5 because even though I'm talking about how this book is really not cliche, the ending did feel a little cliche, so that's why it can't be quite a 5. It just a little bit has to drop down to a 4, but that does not take away from the amazingness. Um, I'm gonna go into some spoilers. Okay, so there's something I want to point out which I think might be a plot hole. So at the beginning they mentioned one of the kids commits suicide. I cannot remember which one it was. It was one of the boys hung himself and then later in the story, I'm blanking on everyone's name I do apologize, but the smart girl who like is figuring out the Neverworld, she mentions did anyone commit suicide? And everyone's like no, no we didn't. And I thought that would come back later like someone would be, the person would have been like yeah I did commit suicide that one time. But 
it never actually comes back. It doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't he just mention that he tried to commit, well, he did commit suicide and then he came back and I just don't get why he never mentioned that. Like, you'd think it would have come back and there would have been a reason behind why he was hiding it or whatever. The main girl knew. Again, I'm blanking on everyone's name, but the main girl knew. Like, she knew he committed suicide and she doesn't even comment on it. Like, oh, that's weird, he's not mentioning it. So, I don't know. Maybe it's an editing mistake and they just forgot to, like, take that out of the part of the story. I don't know. I do have a question, though, if anyone else thinks this. Is the main character reliable? Let me look up her name first. Her name is Beatrice. Okay. Is Beatrice a reliable narrator? Because she hid the fact that she knew her boyfriend died. Like, she completely hid it. And it would be interesting to go back and see where, like, you can figure out where she, how she knew or whatever. When... You find out she was there and she saw him die, I was like, whoa. She only mentioned she doesn't know what happened to him, which in a way is true because when she went back to see his body, he was not there. So she's like, okay, he must be alive and then two days later he's in the lake and it's just like, how did he get there? I don't believe she really did kill him. Like, yeah, she might have loosened the ladder and everything, but I don't think she killed him and she hesitated when he was falling but it wasn't like she did it on purpose I think or maybe it or even if she's an unreliable narrator she could be like remembering that she didn't mean to. My opinion is that it could be that she when looking back she's like I hesitated but I didn't mean to hesitate but maybe there was a part of her that wanted him to die so it, I think it's a very interesting thing to explore. Neverworld I do believe it's real. I'm the type of person who wants to believe in magic, so, you know, I'm gonna believe in Neverworld. I, I, I really think it does exist, but I can see the compelling case for the other thing. That's why I had a little trouble at the end, because it was like, it might have been all a dream thing, which was ki it's just kind of annoying unless it's done right. I don't know. I, I think that it had to be real. I, I really think it had to be real. The part that I thought was annoying is just like, oh, he was reading the same book, and you know, the doctor was the guy, in the old dude. I was like, really? You're gonna go with the more cliche thing? But the thing about Marisha Pestel is she likes to, as like a night film, there's this one scene where you don't know if it actually happened or not. And I think she's kind of doing that same thing. Like, was it real? Was it? What do you believe? What do you think? I think it really speaks to who the reader is depending on what they believe in. I have a tendency to believe that the magic was real and that the dream was real and you know this fantasy world is real and I feel like some other people might be like no let me be more cynical that didn't actually exist. So I kind of think it also speaks to who the reader is on what they believe. I think it'd be interesting to hear other people's opinion like your opinion on whether do you think Neverworld was real or not? Anyways that's really all the spoilers I really wanted to talk about. Those are the main things that I really wanted to discuss. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Happy reading. Bye! Okay. Everything fell off for no fucking reason. <laughs> what if I try to do the cover? <laughs> That's not gonna work out. Okay. It, it's taking something fell again. Um, I'm gonna go into some spoilers. Um, so, spoilers! I don't know what I'm doing to his hands. <laughs>